good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode here on the YouTube channel. Guys, go ahead on and, um, you know, come on in. For those watching the restream on the premiere, we want to welcome you. And today I'm on here with my YouTube big bro. He was here on YouTube before me, you know, pre, pre the Manosphere days, talking about men's issues. I'm going to let him talk, introduce himself. He's a legend here in the Black Manosphere space. Go ahead, brother. Let them know what's going on. What's going on, everybody? My name is Solo TV 84 a.k.a. your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now doing the whole crypto thing. Uh, so I'm, I'm just glad to be here. Salute to O'Shea. Day one, homie, and YouTube, man. Appreciate you. Give him a round of applause. All right. I've been knowing my brother here for a long time since I came on YouTube circa 2016 something like that 2015 and uh man back we all O'Shea before he was tricking when he was making videos in the bathroom <laughs> i didn't have no money back then back. thank you brothers for giving me all the money so i can trick it off <laughs> and that's what we're gonna be talking about today man because you know when we first started in the space there wasn't a lot of money um you know it wasn't those live streams and super chats that you see today and what wasn't really talked about was um like this whole cryptocurrency thing because the manosphere was pretty much talking about women and then like from 2015 to 2021 there's been a big shift towards lifestyle and finance but cryptocurrency man listen i gotta give it to you i didn't believe in this shit at first and you was telling me well you didn't when i started making money like yo man you need to start investing in crypto tell me first of all what is cryptocurrency for people who don't know really what it is and, and how did you get involved in it yeah certainly so cryptocurrency, O'Shea, to put it simply, is digital currency, right? Um, if you think about it, right now, when you use Cash App, for example, what, what are you doing? You're dealing with digital currency. I mean, yes, it's in U.S. dollars or, uh, you know, you you in Poland, so it's what, Zoldi? Is no, it's still, still in dollars. Okay. You hear, yeah. so, 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 you know, basically all cryptocurrency does, it's, it's a form of digital currency, just to put okay. it simply. Mm -hmm. um and it started in 2009 when a unknown entity or person nobody really knows who satoshi nakamoto is he came up with bitcoin and the technology mm -hmm. is based on transparency using mm -hmm. something known as blockchain which is a revolutionary technology that keeps everything transparent so what that means is you don't need a middleman like a bank you are your own bank you are your mm -hmm. own sovereign you know, mm -hmm. dealer when it comes to your finances. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, it's decentralized. So when you are dealing with a bank, OSHA, you're dealing with a middleman and they got to get paid too, right? Now, right? I know you're wondering, how does the bank get paid? Mm -hmm. Well, they get paid when you have late fees, mm -hmm. overdrafts, mm -hmm. um, you know, things of that nature. But more mm -hmm. importantly, cryptocurrencies deals with faster transaction speeds. Mm -hmm. So for example, OSHA, you ever go to uh you know the popeyes or i know you go to popeyes i don't I know right right you know, I'm but they, they're able to take your money out quick right yeah now let's say you you got a bad piece of chicken i know you you know usually if you return it they wouldn't um give your money back but it would take five to seven business days for you to get a refund so mm -hmm. cryptocurrencies negates all that by having faster transaction speeds okay uh, and getting rid of the old system Okay, so that's kind of what it is. So we define what cryptocurrency is. Now we're gonna make it because what our audience has always revolved either around black men or the black community as African Americans. We always talked about that. And what I've seen since you've been telling me since this, I've seen a lot of guys get rich just even it's off of YouTube. We've both seen it. Guys that have we even introduced to our platforms that have gotten bigger than us. And like I said, you've done that. You know, and I've done that. You actually bought a lot of people too, just like I have. And um, but then we're seeing a lot of these guys who maybe were not YouTube guys, just normal guys, getting rich off of like cryptocurrency. There's a there's one YouTuber, one of close friends of mine. I just did a show with him not too long ago, and he was like, "Yo, man, yeah, I got this hundred thousand um, dollar, you know, balance right now. This is just like two months ago." And he said that he figured that his uh, amount would be what it is today at like 500,000. It's not $500,000, but I'm gonna let Kim put up what it is, we're gonna blur his name. This dude's portfolio is oh well over $400,000. So I know like, I know that happened with you and, and you've been doing amazing. So here's what I wanna talk about, right? 
what, what, what a lot of these black men are getting this new wealth, this new cryptocurrency wealth. How are they going to maintain it and not trick it all the way off like reparations if we were to get it? That's the whole thing. How are these guys going to maintain this new amount of money coming in through cryptocurrency? Yeah, O'Shea, that's a very excellent question, right? And that's a question that I actually have addressed on my channel as well. And first, obviously, O'Shea, I'm not a financial advisor, uh, so I can't give out financial advice. But for those who are not aware, I actually do do also a crypto show with a CPA. Her name is uh, Brianna and her last mm -hmm. name is Jones, too, coincidentally. So shout out to her. We do a, a show together every Thursdays. But basically, O'Shea, the main important part is when somebody doesn't have money, as you know, mm -hmm. or they've never had money before. Right. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden they become wealthy, whether it's mm -hmm. through the lotto or cryptocurrency stock market mm -hmm. or an inheritance of some sort, right? Mm -hmm. If you're not used to money and you you carrying that mindset that you got while you are broke or while you are making the money that you're making now, mm -hmm. you're bound to make some bad decisions, right? Mm -hmm. And so here's the main important part is you gotta have a financial plan. And this is why it's mm -hmm. important that you deal with somebody who is an accountant or a tax lawyer or financial mm -hmm. advisor who can mm -hmm. make sure that you make more money and that you don't trick it off. I mean, mm -hmm. O'Shea, how many times have we seen it where somebody gets a lot of money, not just mm -hmm. like these rappers and athletes, but then they go broke, you know, mm -hmm. because they don't understand money management. And that is mm -hmm. something that black men need to learn because mm -hmm. we, we tend to want to get instant gratification instead of delayed mm -hmm. gratification, meaning mm -hmm. that as soon as we get the money, we blow it. And this is true mm -hmm. in the com black community. Think about it. The average dollar in the black community lasts what? Six to 24 hours, right? Yeah, something six like hours, that. something like that. Right. So imagine O'Shea, a dude that never had money before. Now he's got mm -hmm. all the money to do what he wants. He can buy the cars, the chains. He mm -hmm. can trick it off on Bernices and Nicole. <laughs> it, it's a recipe for disaster if he doesn't have a right. plan and doesn't right. have the discipline to make sure that he doesn't blow the money on frivolous things. I'm not mm -hmm. saying O'Shea don't have fun with the money. But you got to be responsible and realize that you got to let your, your crypto make you more crypto or let your crypto make you more money. If you just okay. plan on tricking it off, you're going to be broke within five years or less. Oh, let me let me ask you a question, because I know you've had some. I really wish and shout out to RB to breakthrough. But I got to really say solo, man, he's really was telling me like a while ago and I wasn't, you know, I was trying to do other things. So I would already be a crypto millionaire had I listened to him. To be honest, because he was telling me some things that was going to happen down the pike. Then we saw that Shibu, uh, Shibu Inu, is that what it's called? Shibu Inu, yeah. yeah. My brother had invested like a thousand dollars, and um, he, he don't even deal with social media. But he called me and told me he made like ten thousand dollars, something like that. Usually. Um, yeah. So then my thing is this, because you know you've made um, good money on you know crypto coaching. Um, you know that's a whole industry now. We even seen like crypto.com, like the Staples Center and stuff like that. So it's, it's really a real deal now. So it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not yeah. no fly by night. It's here to stay. Yeah. Have you personally wished that, you know what? I cashed out this particular investment that I had. I shouldn't have did that. Or I cashed out an investment. Um, and then I, I, I spent the money because it was a lot and it was there. Have you, have you had that? Cause I know I've done that with my YouTube money personally. Have you had that, uh, you went through that also with some of the success you've had and then you well, thought about it and well well the biggest one is O'Shea. sometimes you know you you take money out of a coin right and then what, what happens is as soon as you take the money out like 30 minutes later the mofo is going up and you're like hey. <laughs> you know what i'm saying right but, but see O'Shea, that is smart money knows like you don't take out your money at once you you, you take out what it's called profit trailing or staggering your profit so what that means is O'Shea. You have certain price points. If the coin hits, you take a little bit of money out, right? Mm -hmm. And so if it, let's say it goes parabolic, as we like to say in the crypto community, mm -hmm. that you don't miss out. Um, I, I heard a story, like my own cousin, Oshie, my own cousin who, um, you know, shout out to him. He's, he's Nigerian, shout out to him. His name is E, right? Mm -hmm. He had a coin, Oshie. He made like 18 bands off of it, right? And this was uh, on PancakeSwap. PancakeSwap is like, Think of PancakeSwap like a, 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 basically it's a DEX, right? That allows you to, to trade currencies. So PancakeSwap, if you were to look at it like, I'm not saying it's similar, but think of it like if you're able to transfer 
you know, U U.S. bank money to like uh, Bank of America or something. And, and, mm -hmm. and Pancake Swap does that. And I'm not saying it does, but I'm just speaking metaphorically. Right. So basically, had he healed that 18,000 O'Shea, he would have for like another two weeks, he would have had like over four million. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah. yeah. So the reality is, you know, you hear a lot of stories like that where people take out their money too soon. But then on the flip side, Osha, you hear about people taking their money out too late, right? Okay. One cat, for Let's example, talk about that, man, because cryptocurrency is a little bit more volatile than your traditional stocks and index funds and things like that. Now let's talk about that. That's interesting. Let's exactly. So, so, you know, if you don't understand the game and you first get into it, you might think to yourself, okay, this coin is going to keep going up and up, right? The problem that happens is sometimes when you see a coin, O'Shea, just go sky high, you get what's known as as greedy, right? Because you're thinking to yourself, yo, this coin is going to go up forever. I'm not going to lose no money on it. The problem that happens, though, is eventually people will take profits and what goes up must come down, right? So the reality is no coin goes up forever. There are going to be dips, corrections, as well as bear markets. Now, bear markets are a period where the whole market is down. And then basically it's in a, in a long term accumulation phase before it goes into that next bull run. Mm -hmm. The way Bitcoin works is in four year cycles. So what that means is currently every four years, there's a, what's known as a bull market. However, in 2022, O'Shea, I think that's going to completely change because mass adoption is happening so rapidly mm -hmm. that the, what we currently define as a bear market and bull market may potentially change because it's going to level the volatility. So what I'm mm -hmm. saying is you're not going to see Bitcoin go up 30% one day and then 50% the other day because there's going to be so much people in it, so much money in it. And you're already mm -hmm. starting to see evidence of that, as you said, with crypto.com buying the name yeah. and the rights of the Staples Center. Oh, yeah. El it's... Salvador, a whole country is using Bitcoin now. Mm -hmm. um, so you're already starting to see evidence of mass adoption and it's happening rapidly. Let, let's kind of go, you know, because when we talk about you see a lot of people in the red peel that are pushing Bitcoin, like a lot of people doing it, um, especially in the white manosphere or those associated with the white manosphere. You're hearing Bitcoin in the black manosphere or black manosphere associated guys. You know, you there's other people talking about it. But what I don't really see is like now because, you know, YouTube is like. It's crazy, right? You have rappers and athletes and then YouTube gave the normal dude like me an opportunity to be up there with them even though i'm not like right. look at kevin samuels normal guy right and then he gets on youtube he's right up there with the athletes right right now i think this is going to be similar for some of the guys who adopted crypto a little bit earlier they're normal but their investments over time will allow them to be up there with the guys and then they're going to be able to you know get the blue check mark on instagram <laughs> They're going to be able to, 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 to have chicks in their DMs um, and be a little bit more noticeable, you know, into the world instead of just being like, you know, kind of behind the scenes kind of guy, like the kind of some style guys. The Bitcoin people, you're already starting to see the new money guys are starting to be more visible. You're starting to see more of the cars out there and things like that. So my question is this. How are these guys who, let's say like two years ago, three years ago, they were not able to deal with chicks that they wanted to. But now... They have a million, two million, three million, um, and then they're probably still something else that they have some other investments, real estate. They're able to deal with these ladies. What do you I mean? How do you think that's going to turn out for especially a lot of black men who are getting rich on crypto? And now they're able to deal with women that they typically couldn't deal with. And it's solely really based on the fact that now they have money. Right. So what, what you got to realize, O'Shea, is if you lead with your wallet, mm -hmm. then don't think that the chick is there for you. You feel me? But 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 he, here's the thing, O'Shea. Like the reality is, if you are, are leading with your wallet and you don't have the the wherewithal to realize that, hey, now you're dealing with a different caliber of women, right? Right. So for so for example, O'Shea, let's say my ceiling is right now is a seven, right? Okay. If I bag a chick that's above a seven, is because. I don't know. Maybe Shorty knows I got cloud or something like that or some mm. some reason. And I, I don't have even cloud like that. I'm just saying like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She might, she, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. don't start thinking now that, mm -hmm. you know, all of a sudden, bro, you like Trey songs or pretty boy. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, 
that's not realistic. You you gotta understand that. Now, number two, if you have a game about you, which I know you do, O'Shea, right? Mm -hmm. You can see the problem is a lot of dudes look at it like, oh well, let's let's trick, let's get these girls and you know, let's give them money or let's fly them out and do all this, right? Mm -hmm. But what a lot of guys don't realize is you can also lead with your lifestyle. And mm -hmm. a lot of people don't realize it is what that means is, is that you show you sell the girl a dream. Basically, you show her the lifestyle and a lot of women want the lifestyle, but they don't want to feel like they thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you, you, you got a chick coming in and then you giving her money. That's, you know, that's super thought right there. But right, right. the reality is, if you're not used to getting women, mm -hmm. right, then all of a sudden you get in a plethora of women, you're going to start going crazy now. Right. Now there's also a difference, Oshie. Let's say you get women, right? Mm -hmm. Like like I said, I mean my ceiling is a seven, but now you got access to eights, nines, and tens, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You gotta understand, okay, what what is your goal with that woman? Are you just having fun with her? Are you mm -hmm. trying to get married? Mm -hmm. And then you gotta be honest with yourself. See, Oshie, we gotta keep it real, bro. Too often we get into this mindset that, oh, you know, if you can't bag a woman because of game, then you're lame, right? Mm -hmm. But the reality is, as a man, you get judged on different criterias. You get mm -hmm. judged on your ability to garner resources. You get mm -hmm. judged on your looks. You get judged mm -hmm. on your status. Mm -hmm. So here's another thing, Oshie, that we seldom talk about in this beer, right? I've mm -hmm. mentioned this plenty of times. But now you have access to a different social circle, right? Yes. And having access to a different social circle where you have now, now, Oshie, and I know you deal with this. You're dealing mm -hmm. with men of means, right? You're mm -hmm. dealing with mm -hmm. men that are high earning. I know they like to use the word high value, but you're dealing mm -hmm. with men that basically got money now. That mm -hmm. puts you in a in a situation now where you're dealing with women that are prettier and women that are in these circles. Oshie, have you noticed if you ever go to a club, where are the prettiest girls at? VIP player? Exactly, Oshie. The, the baddest chick. Yeah, people like kind of Minnesota and they don't even. I, hey, I got you. I got you, Oshay. Whenever you're ready. We're paying for, paying for sandals and Bitcoin. You already know how I do. But go but ahead. The baddest though, women are in the VIP section, usually. Women tend to be where the money is at. But if you look at it location-wise, right? Look at where the baddest women at in America. They're in New York, ATL, Miami, LA, etc. The women right. are always where the money is at. Now, Oshay, the main important part is when you all of a sudden get money, right? You have to have that discipline and self-control to realize, okay, you can have fun. But are you going to blow the whole bag on just chicks? Now, Oshie, can I can I take a, a biblical for a moment? Go ahead. Go ahead, Reverend. Now, in the Bible. Oh, church right? music. Go ahead. <laughs> in the Bible, right, there's a there's a famous king, King Solomon, right? Mm -hmm. you, you know King Solomon, of the course. wisest king in the Bible, had yes. an abundance of wealth. I mean, gold, silver, right? Right. There was a part in the Bible that talked about that Solomon's downfall was his what? His love of women. Mm -hmm. Solomon Osha had it all. He had the wealth. He mm -hmm. had the prestige, the fame, right? Mm -hmm. he, Solomon was so famous that the Queen of Sheba, get it, Sheba in you? Coincidence? I don't know. But <laughs> the, queen, the Queen of Sheba went to visit him, right? And then Solomon was just giving her all types of game. Well, guess what? Solomon fell so much in love with the Queen of Sheba that he, he wrote what? He wrote poetry about her in Proverbs. So what am I saying, Oshie? The long story short is the love of women was Solomon's downfall, right? And people got to realize is if you're not used to dealing with women, especially now, Oshie, when you're going to be dealing with women of a higher caliber, you're going to be compromised because you don't have that foundation. And next thing you know, you're going to end up looking goofy. Let me, let me talk to you about this because, you know, I know like a lot of guys since cryptocurrency um is is on the rise like even like odell beckham i just heard he's going to be taking his salary next year in bitcoin you see rappers talking about getting their salary in bitcoin all this other stuff but then what i'm kind of hearing from content creators i don't know if it's because they have um a specific ulterior motive but as if you know bitcoin is going to solve all your financial problems now you know me um i'm a i'm a person that likes um businesses that that depend on competitive advantages and skill development and all you know just like things that you know because i think cryptocurrency is a currency 
and it, and it can go up and, and obviously it's an investment it's, it's, that's what makes it so lucrative because it's a, it's a currency and it's an investment at the same time you know whereas the dollar always is weaker but i think that so many guys are start are forgetting the fact that hey you still need to develop your own personal skill sets whether you're in tech healthcare, those things do you believe that people are, are just really believing like cryptocurrency can answer all your problems and there's no other things that you need to do with your life to develop your other skills in, in, in other areas. Do you think that that's how some of the people are making it to believe right now that just, hey, if you just invest in cryptocurrency, then your life is, is set and you don't have to worry about the other forms of, 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 of earning money? Yeah, no, no. So here's the thing, O'Shea. I mean, there's going to be new um, types of infrastructure in regards to new jobs that are going to be coming out because the technology is evolving and it's not just with cryptocurrency i'm talking about as a whole when you talk right. about dealing with automation you're dealing with right. ai robots cryptocurrency though particularly blockchain right which is mm -hmm. the technology behind cryptocurrency is going to help to drive a lot of that i'm pretty sure you've heard of the metaverse right yeah That's yeah yeah heard where a lot of these um guys are going to be ending up because if you can't if you ain't got no crypto money i guess you can get a girlfriend in the metaverse right you can get a virtual reality chick you know okay. what I'm saying? But I might the be in there too. Huh? I might be in there tricking too. Oh, in real oh, yeah. life, oh, in the metaverse. Oh, shit. Can you imagine a metaverse where now, if you go on OnlyFans, you put on your virtual reality glasses and you have the OnlyFans experience like that? I'm never coming outside. The, exactly. That's that's no. going to be the metaverse, right? No. And so, oh, shit, cryptocurrency is not going to solve all your problems, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, if you're lame and you get crypto rich you're just going to be a lame that's crypto rich right mm -hmm. what what crypto is going to do though is if you get into the forefront of right now because right now we're still at the beginning right mm -hmm. will it change uh your life financially yes it can right mm -hmm. depending on how you invest number one depending on mm -hmm. when you cash out and how, what your strategy is mm -hmm. but crypto is not going to fix your issues in regards to you know now all of a sudden you know, people, are, uh, you, you, it's going to fix your whole life because mm -hmm. of the fact that if you're dealing with internal problems, it's mm -hmm. just going to amplify that. So if you're insecure, mm -hmm. it, it's just going to, if you don't deal with that issue, it might make the insecurity bigger. So for example, mm -hmm. you got to prove yourself. Now mm -hmm. you're rich and you're buying all types of cars and mm -hmm. jewelry and all types mm -hmm. of things to prove to people that you're rich. But remember, O'Shea, if you got money, you know, if you notice rich people aren't really flashy because they no. don't have anything to prove, especially right. to poor people. Right. But what I'm, what I'm trying to get at also is like, you know, like, for example, you know, we're starting um, a, a, like, a, like short films and films and things like that to monetize. You know, we're looking, you know, and other people are doing other sorts of businesses. Still, crypto is there, but still some people are still needing to be like healthcare people, doctor, engineers, you know, plumbers. So what I'm saying is. Those are still businesses that still de de uh, de require skill sets. And I, and I kind of believe that a lot of people feel like, well, now that there's crypto, I don't even have to worry about still being skilled or still being academically qualified because, you know, and those things still make money. You can get paid it in crypto, right? Those skills and services. Do you yeah. think that that kind of mentality is out there that, hey, okay, since crypto is there, I no longer need to, you know, um, you know, do the things that, that are required right now in the economy? Well, well, Oshie, that's a great point. So I know personally people, right? Salute to my mentor, Ian Bellina. He's the one who told me about crypto, got me in the game. And that answers your question earlier to how I even found out about it. So he's the one who told me to get into it. And when Ian first started, he he had like less than 300 subscribers. Now he's on Forbes magazine, uh, CNBC, CNN, over 100K subscribers, right? Verified. So the reality is, Oshie, that sectors are still going to need people the health sector is still going to need doctors and nurses mm -hmm. uh the the food industry sector as you know Oshie, it's getting wrecked right now because of the yeah. pandemic they're still yeah. going to need you know um people that are, are in the 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 food industry in the restaurants they're still going to need waiters Where, yeah, restaurants who are they're, they're yeah. underserved logistics are underserved exactly so yeah. so the you know real estate all of that stuff, stock market, that's not going to go away, O'Shea. It's still going to be right. there. However, right. the cryptocurrency sector is, is bringing in a new sector in regards to, as I said, faster transactions with money. Right. Also, mm -hmm. you're dealing with the metaverse. So 
the blockchain technology is going to help to enable new types of different things in regards to, you know, how entertainment, they have something known as P2E that is play mm -hmm. to earn. Basically, Oshay, imagine you play your favorite video games and you get paid for playing it. Now mm -hmm. they, they're predicting that within a couple of years, people will be making nine to $20 on average playing video games, right? So what I'm saying is Oshay, the cryptocurrency blockchain is gonna create new industries, but that doesn't take away from the old industries. Mm -hmm. And if you go in with the mindset that, oh, crypto is gonna solve all my problems. Well, look at what happened to certain people in 2017. They got the bag and by 2019, O'Shea, they had to go back and punch a clock. Why? Because they blew all the money. They thought it was just going to keep going up forever. And mm -hmm. O'Shea, you, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but a million dollars is a lot of money. But if you're retired and you blow on that money, it doesn't really last that long. So yeah, no. uh, the, the, the sectors that are in place right now, they're not going nowhere. But there's right. going to be new sectors created. Because crypt, uh, cryptocurrency is going to help to evolve the tech space, right. particularly with virtual reality, um, mm -hmm. currency, uh, along with entertainment, amongst other things as well, such as energy and stuff like that. Let me let me ask you this, because I had a brother that reached out to me. I kind of explained to me the metaverse. I know that Facebook changed its name to metaverse. That's when I, you know, first heard of that term. Yeah, but it seems that what you're going to see now um, is that even in the manosphere, there might be like virtual communities and virtual economies that exist online for just all kind of different groups. You know, black men could be one people, another. What are the possibilities now with cryptocurrency and in the possible wealth creation amongst African-American men and black men um, that 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 there are things that we can create? that are in this new industry that can also increase, um, you know, African-American wealth or like, w w would there be things that, you know, like, like the manosphere can produce for people in the cryptocurrency, uh, like, our, like, I'm not saying our own coin or thing, but things like that, that these guys can support in the, in the new metaverse environment. What, what are the, what are the possibilities, you know, more, I know NFTs, what are the new possibilities now that we have this I new mean, technology? Not now, O'Shea, because of the fact that the metaverse um, is going to basically create another world, right? But it's going to be online. Now, O'Shea, for example, uh, you know, you being um, in Poland and in Uganda and also Cali, you everywhere, right? Let's say you wanted to have a, um, a Black Manosphere meetup. Logistically, it's very difficult to do, right? Because you have to have... Um, months ahead of notice, then you have to collect fees, and then you have to make sure people are accommodated in the hotel, make sure speakers show up, this and that. Well, the metaverse is going to cut that very, uh, it's going to make it a lot simpler. You can have a, a Black Manosphere meetup virtually online, and anybody can attend if they pay in, in the fee or in your cryptocurrency that you prefer. So now all of a sudden, you have more engagement. You have more engagement. And not only that, now you're able to do certain things um that that put the the viewer that makes the viewer feel included not just like they're watching but number two uh for example you have certain uh cryptocurrencies like theta for example if you use theta which is a streaming service for your viewer watching you oshay they get paid in what's known as t fuel so imagine oshay your your viewers can donate to you in cryptocurrency but for also watching you they get paid in cryptocurrency and it's not coming from your wallet. It's just that they're viewing you. So what that does, O'Shea, is now in the metaverse itself, you can have, um, you know, the Hall of Game where you have a section of, of the Hall of Game where now people feel more included. You can have like a classroom setting or it could mm -hmm. be a beach setting. It's a virtual reality setting where it's more engaging. Not only mm -hmm. that, but business-wise, O'Shea, as I said, there's going to be new markets and sectors coming up that we haven't even thought of yet mm -hmm. so Oshay, you know as well as i do being on youtube you've met so many successful people so oh many yeah people, yeah so many people that have put you on game so many people that have you know created new opportunities for you now imagine right. the metaverse that is a thing as well but now you're meeting people that you that you probably wouldn't have even gotten to reach because of the fact that it's it, it create it's a new world a new ecosystem of different um, economies coming up, different things, where now you can be ahead of the trend. 
Bro, I even seen people are going to be like in these metaverse places buying like bottles of Coca-Cola. So Coke and Pepsi, they're creating soft drinks for the freaking metaverse. I was like, what? Like, yeah, yeah. like, yeah, we're in the metaverse. Like, yo, I want to buy this Coke that I'm drinking virtually, but I'm, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, man. Like yeah. how that works, bro. Like that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Oshie, I just heard there's a um, a metaverse token known as Decentraland, a.k.a. Mana. They sold um, a real estate property, a virtual real estate property, today for $2.4 million in, in USD, the equivalent to $2.4 million. So, Oshie, there's a lot of money going into the metaverse because the metaverse is basically your own world, but there's real estate in it. And, and just like in the real world, Whoever has the best real estate wins. So basically, it's like right now the metaverse is like go buying property in Midtown Manhattan, but like 200 years ago. So it's gonna be huge. A lot of people are gonna live in the metaverse. And Osha, you're already seeing it. You've got people who are living in YouTube, on social media, on Instagram, Facebook. It's a form of the metaverse, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you have people that their lives is social media. Now imagine Osha now. You create uh, this ecosystem where you can interact with it as an avatar. So in the metaverse, O'Shea, you can be 6'5", big and brolic. It don't matter. Or you're going to have a lot of weirdos pretending to be women, but they're catfishes. You know, that's another story. So <laughs> you can be whoever you want to be, man. And, okay. and, 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 and there's so many things, O'Shea, that we haven't even thought of yet that the metaverse is going to create in regards to you know economies and ecosystems and all of that so yeah and there's gonna be some sipping going on now i'll be rec i'll be covering them on the celebrity junk in the metaverse metaverse brother, man, tricking. I, I, yes. I really want to you know take the time to oh yes something you want to say Me metaverse tricking yeah so watch out that's gonna be a new a new series uh on struggle with but brother i want to thank you personally for you know your contribution to uh to the black manosphere you know where it's going so guys like me you Obsidian, um, you know, you brought in a lot of guys, and then you helped me out when I first was, uh, you know, get my to like eight or nine thousand subscribers, stuff like that, and kind of told me how the kind of game works, and just that game I'm able to give to other people. Be and I got it from uh, some of that early stuff I got it from you, so I definitely thank you, brother, for you know all that you've done for me. I can never thank you enough. Um, but go ahead and tell the people, man, how they can find you and what services you offer. Since I, I, I should have took you off on that offer, brother, for for that, that crypto. Yeah, now I'm over here struggling with this funny. It's funny because remember the first time me. I put you on YouTube game, Damn, you, told you hit like 10 racks, bro, you know? Yeah. And had you gotten into uh, crypto back when I was telling you 2017, I mean, and Ethereum probably put the 10 racks in, in it now, it, it, it would be worth, you know, probably worth 40, 50 bands right now easily, you know, maybe even more depending on if you've been dollar cost averaging. But regardless, O'Shea, um, people can find me on Solar TV 84 uh, you can also find me on my Patreon where I do coin analysis. That's where I break down coins that people want me to break down. You know, me um, giving my opinion on the coin market cap, the supply, mm -hmm. the usage of the coin on www.patron.com slash solar TV 84. For those who want to learn about how to even get started on crypto, I've got my own uh, trendsetter beginners cryptocurrency course. And that's on learnworlds.com, solar TV 84.learnworlds.com. I'm pretty sure Oshie will have the screen up on board. And yeah, Oshie, um, you know, and here's the thing, man. At the end of the day, you know, you, you just got to be careful. Don't put in, as I say, don't put in your the house and the sink and the table in it. Just put in some club money, you know, just to start. Get comfortable with it. And, you know, I mean, crypto is definitely the future. But at the end of the day, people have to realize that, you know, you're still going to have to do other things as well to maintain your wealth. And then mm -hmm. also, more importantly, realize that, you know, it, the crypto is not the be all end all because we don't know what's going to happen right anything mm -hmm. can happen but crypto is not going in, away anywhere and i think that with the recent evidence that we've seen the staples center el salvador among other bullish news it's around to stay but i just don't want black people to be late because we're always late to the party so that's that's definitely true and uh definitely i'll put uh here's a course also guys some of you brothers have bought and have really good results with it so i'll put the course uh that he has for cryptocurrency the first comment pinned to the top is youtube page and i definitely thank him for coming through 
Uh, you know, we haven't done a show in a long time. Typically, we do. It's always a hit. So I want to thank all you guys for coming. Um, subscribe. If you like this, hit the bell. For those of you who are watching this on the premiere, I thank you for being here. Those of you who are watching it after the premiere, I thank you also. And as you know, the buffoon remains an all-time high. We out.